Moving to North Carolina, I finally learned what actual seasons feel like. In the fall, the trees turn beautiful shades of sunshine and cinnamon and everything in between. For the majority of my life though, I grew up in Nevada, in the middle of the Mojave Desert where the palm trees look the same all year round. But I remember there were oak trees in the middle of my church courtyard. It wasn't enough to create oceans of yellow and red leaves, but in the fall, after our early morning services, I would see my grandmother bending her fragile back and picking acorns off the ground, gathering them in her purse. Look at the acorns I collected, she would say, with her eyes lighting up on her childlike face. My little sister would come running around the corner, yelling with four or five acorns in her tiny hands. Look, I got some too! At home, my grandmother would magically turn these tree nuts into a delicious brown jelly, served with salty soy sauce with a little kick of crushed red peppers, garlic, and green onion. When she was younger, maybe 14 years old, my grandmother would watch her grandmother make acorn jelly. The process started with her younger brothers, going up the mountains, collecting falling acorns, and bringing them back down in baskets. The actual preparation and cooking of the acorn jelly was a long and laborious task that required drying out the acorns in the sun for maybe a week and then using a mortar and pestle, a mill, a cheesecloth with lots of grinding, filtering, waiting, stirring, and more waiting. Because my grandmother grew up as the only daughter in her family, she told me how much her parents spoiled her. So it wasn't until she moved to the United States that she tried making the dish herself. Of course, by her late adulthood, she could just use a food processor, instead of manually grinding the hard acorns. Today, however, you can just buy acorn starch and make the jelly without going through all that trouble. For as long as I can remember, my grandmother was always physically sick, diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called lupus, and unable to afford healthcare as an undocumented citizen. But whenever I ate the soft acorn jelly that melts in my mouth, I don't remember my grandmother for her weak knees and prosthetic hip, I remember how happy she was, picking up these tiny acorns as if they were pearls in a sea of leaves.